Come to upstate New York and we find ourselves at Bill Stadium at Orchard Park. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Pass to kick off for Buffalo. And we are underway in Buffalo. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. time with Clyde Edwards Alaire. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play and it's second down. Not the kind of game that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough gritty yards for you when necessary. On second down, he'll run with Edwards Alaire. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First down, Chiefs. They go play fake. Mahomes looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. They'll run for the first time here with Matt Breida. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Frank Clark. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play here for the Bills. 44 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more. And, it will and he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have taken the early lead. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. It's good. Makes the score Bills 7, Chiefs nothing. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Now a throw for the all-pro Kelsey is complete. Mahomes that throw good for only a couple. It brings up third Kelsey. down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Levi Wallace with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again, Allen. And he whips that one incomplete there. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. On play action, Allen. He'll buy some time right. And he's able to find Diggs. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. On third and 10, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. At the 23-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Allen again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. First down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. A gain of three brings up second and goal. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. They'll try to run with Breda. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breda with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. For Bills, 14, Chiefs, nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. 
And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Ball carrier. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. From the 24, Mahomes, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense. Offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. 24 yard line. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. to throw again Allen escaping the pressure right and now he's going to use his legs and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line Josh Allen very athletic at 6'5 showing the versatility picking up the first on the scramble 45 yard line Set him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Allen off the play fake. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. But it'll be second down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Second and 15 now. Allen going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Bang, bang, bang. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. He'll go underneath here to Burrito. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That'll be complete to Brita. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Bills, first down. First and goal at the three-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breda with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. At the all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. So after the INT, it's Allen looking for Shepard deep. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It was Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, there to knock it away. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. This is Breda. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Taken down. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Alex Okafor. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense for diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. 53 to Mike. 53. Check 53. Watch the home, home, home. 53 to Mike. 
53 at the mic. Quit talking about it and bring it. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Okay, double it, double it, double it, double it. That's going to set him back five yards. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what did they do, shorten the pot news? I mean, how did they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, no, that's you, partner. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. First down, Chiefs. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Levi Wallace with a pick. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range, all the way down to the 15 here. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. 28-yard line. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Brings up second and seven at the 31-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Mahomes going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. From the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. I can't believe they even let you play. Check. 53 for life. Rita to get the third quarter started. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 
Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. At the 28-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Breida. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. His throw caught at about the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Singletary. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Just shy of the goal line. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Allen buying time to his left. And he slings one that's incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, but now it's third and goal. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breida. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breida, his third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. 
How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. He made the tackle. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Caught. Kelsey. Left side. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 44-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. Kansas City. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. That is now five interceptions that he has thrown in this ball game. If I ask you to speculate what's possibly going on in his head, what would you say? Well, if he's as mentally strong as I believe he is, he understands that not all these picks have been his fault. You know, some of the throws, yes, but there have been a good number of them where he hasn't been helped by his own receivers, and they've turned into interceptions. So he knows if he keeps firing, perhaps good things can happen, not just in this game, but especially in later ones. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. shotgun here's Allen it's Knox the tight end making the catch and all the way home for a Bills touchdown Dawson Knox with his second touchdown of the game fourth of the year and the Bills turn that interception into a touchdown and what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Back now in Buffalo. For the fourth quarter, we'll begin with a kickoff following the score of the final play of the third quarter. now to send it away fielded near the back of the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And they will finally put it into the return, but not a 
until he takes it back all the way inside the 10 yard line. Sets up a first down and goal. At the Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Here's Breda. And the Bills are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. Well, they made the play there, and I guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just didn't get there and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here it's third and goal it's now third and goal they'll try to run this one in and he gets halfway there down to the one yard line only a yard that time so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal it's now fourth and goal Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Bass is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. I'd say it's a pretty good strategy. If you throw interceptions on back-to-back -back drives, let's see if the running backs can handle the ball a little bit, get things going, and also... You motivate your offensive line. I think they're in the mood to fire out and hit someone. Uh, I thought the defense, though, might be a little more prepared for that run. Pretty good gain on the ground. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Now Mahomes. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. 15. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards. 
A good pick up there, 22. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Hey, check Mike 21, Mike 21, check Mike 21. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. They'll run here with Edward Delaire. Jerry Hughes on the stop. That's a really nice, Jerry tough Hughes run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he'll go down at the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. To throw, it's Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. The linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. At the 17-yard line. Six yards left on second down. They run again with Breda. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. Brings up third and four. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Buffalo, they remain as hot as anyone. 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for the 